Hi guys, welcome to another audio video and I'll be reading Psalms 28 of the King James Version Bible and it reads, Unto thee will I cry, O Lord my rock, be not silent to me, lest if thou be silent to me, I become like them that go down into the pit. Hear the voice of my supplications when I cry unto thee, when I lift up my hands toward thy holy oracle. Draw me not away with the wicked and with the workers of iniquity, which speak peace to their neighbors, but mischief is in their hearts. Give them according to their deeds and according to the wickedness of their endeavors. Give them after the work of their hands, render to them their desert. Because they regard not the works of the Lord, nor the operation of his hands, he shall destroy them and not build them up. Blessed be the Lord, because he hath heard the voice of my supplications. The Lord is my strength and my shield. My heart trusted in him, and I am helped. Therefore, my heart greatly rejoiceth, and with my song will I praise him. The Lord is their strength. And he is the saving strength of his anointed. Save thy people and bless thine inheritance. Feed them also and lift them up forever. Alright guys, we continue to see where David refers to God as his strength and his shield. And uh, that is basically what the Lord has been for David. And I'm sure... The Lord has been this for you at some point in time. So that's what I really want to focus on right here in this chapter. The fact that he actually thinks of God as his strength and shield. He constantly refers to God as his strength and his shield. And he also tells us how much he trusts in the Lord. And because he trusts in the Lord, the Lord has actually come through for him. And the Lord actually has kept him and uh, where he says the lord is his strength we see where david goes into battle he goes up against enemies he goes up against mighty men where he in his heart fear these men he because he's human and we're all humans and sometimes even though we know that god is there and we know how awesome our god is sometimes because of this flesh that we're in we still feel fear and so David has expressed a lot of time, numerous times, that he's actually felt fear in his heart, even though he knew that God would come and rescue him and that God would make him actually prevail. He still had fear in his heart when he saw who he was up against, the physical of who he was up against, even though he knew who was backing him in the spiritual realm, right? And we see where the Lord has strengthened him so that he overcame all his enemies, those strong enemies that he's seen time and time again. Also, we see where the Lord has been a shield for David in that he protected David against basically the darts of the enemy. There have been, there have been numerous times where people seek to kill David because David has had a lot of enemies and they seek to kill him. Even his son became his enemy at one point in time. But the Lord kept him and was a shield for him and provided a shield for him. And likewise, the Lord builds up a shield around us to protect us. He builds up an edge. We call it an edge, but it's a shield it's a shield and so he gives us this shield and he protects us from all harms and from all attacks from the enemy and so we ought to be able to relate to what David is saying right here that the Lord is his strength and his shield because I know many a times I can speak for myself many a times I do not feel in the best of health Many a times I feel drained, I feel weak, I feel as if I have nothing left within me. But I call on my strength, 
which is the Lord. Not my own strength, physical strength, but the Lord. And he has come through for me. I can testify to that. Okay? And I know many will be able to attest to that also. And I've seen many a times where he's been a shield for me also because <laughs> I recall a day I was on the road and I was at the stoplight and the stoplight changed instantly and I stopped. I in my physical body stopped right where I was but my body was moving out into the road and I had no control over it. And trust me, if it was not for the Lord and the fact that I prayed myself up before going on the road, I don't know what would have happened that day. And so I know I can attest to the fact that it was God because it was not of anything I was doing, guys. I couldn't control my body. I know people try to explain this away because that's just how the human mind works. It tries to figure out things. I'm kind of like that at times. I'm not going to lie to you. But I know the power of God and I know what the enemy can do as well. And so that is why I'm telling you this. Okay. And I had no control over my body and I was not sleeping or anything. I was awake. It was broad daylight. I was out on the road with other people around me. I was going out and I stepped back in. As in I stepped back in. I stepped back in and hit somebody. And I was there and I stood right there and yet still seconds after my body was moving towards moving vehicles even though I was standing and I wanted to stand and I had no control over it I had no control over it guys I mean literally no control I could not control it and I remember saying in my head Lord, is this it? And immediately, I felt myself going back. Okay? And the people actually saw me and they were like, Girl, what are you doing? I didn't do anything. Because I was not the one that actually wanted to move out or move my foot to move out. And I was not the one that actually brought myself back in. Because I had not that power. Because I don't know what was happening. Okay? I'm just telling you this to let you know God is real. Okay? And so is the devil. For those who are saying, oh, people, everything they say, oh, the devil this, the devil that. And that's just the way the mind of unbelievers is set up. And even believers do. Okay? Because even believers probably don't understand what I'm saying and probably will be like, uh, what is she talking about? I mean, probably she just was absent-minded or whatever. And that's just how they are. Okay? And we can't actually... We can't bash them because of it and we can't really lash out at them because of it because that's just their opinion and they're entitled to their opinions, okay? But I know what God does for me and I know the God that I serve so I can attest to it. And so I myself can attest to what David is saying that the Lord is his strength and his shield, okay? And so he will always rejoice in him. And he wants him to punish the wicked according to their deeds over and over again. And this is just something that we know will happen because the wicked will indeed receive their inheritance as well as the righteous receive their inheritance. And I want you all to receive the inheritance of the righteous. Okay? Alright guys, so I'm going to leave you right there probably went off too much on a tangent right all right so guys i'm gonna leave you right there please continue to walk in your salvation and if you've not yet gained it then seek it there's no better time than the present have yourselves a blessed day bye